What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Coach Rai here and bahay vlogging na naman tayo. So, masensya na hindi kami mapag-workout vlog kasi medyo crowded yung mga gyms ngayon sa labas. But anyway, usapang anabolics na naman tayo. So, we're gonna talk about Stanozolol, most commonly known as Winstrol. Right? So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin for today. If interested ka about Winstrol, stay with me and let's so first of all, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a registered nurse in the Philippines and I'm a certified personal trainer here in the UAE. Whatever knowledge na makuha nyo mula sa akin, bahala na kayo doon, alright? So this video is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. So, ano nga ba itong Stanozolol, Stano, Stan, Winstrol, Winnie? Okay, so itong Winnie or Winstrol, napaka-famous nito sa bodybuilding world and sa fitness industry. Kasi if you want to get those like really shredded dick skin type of conditioning, na talagang for competition, you really have to use Winstrol. Or if you use Winstrol, makukuha mo talaga yung result na gusto mo na talagang peeled, shredded, dick skin. If you know what I'm talking about. So, ayun. Yung Winstrol, meron siyang two kinds. Meron siyang oral Winstrol and injectables. So, sabi nila yung injectables is nagbibigay ng sobrang pain or post-injection pain, PIP. So, sobrang hirap niyong gamitin. Kaya merong orals and most of them talaga is option talaga nila yung orals kasi nga um, to lessen the pain. Kasi syempre kapag gumamit ka naman ng gears, hindi lang naman Winstrol only, you have to stack it with testosterone like testosterone propionate. That's how it goes because uh, yung Stanozol, it's a DHT or dihydrotestosterone so you need something to combat the side effects of Stanozol or Winstrol which is testosterone. So, which is on every cycle naman talaga kailangan may testosterone base ka like test prop, test E, test epinate, whatever test pa yung gamitin mo kailangan may test ka talaga on each cycle mo well, if, even if it's for cutting or for bulking okay? but syempre yung install most commonly used for cutting kasi nga for competition talaga siya and if you are prepping for an event na kailangan talaga maging super shredded okay? but of course it will still depend on your diet but yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na yung type ng condition niya for competition, pwede mong makuha yon by using Winstrol, right? So speaking of post-injection pain or yung PIP na tinatawag na nabanggit ko nga kanina from Winstrol intramuscular or yung injectable form. So gano'n ba daw kasakit? So for me, depende yan from person to person. Kasi for me personally, um, I can take Winstrol intramuscular even every day without a single pain, okay? But it should be taken every other day and then your oral should be taken every day. Pero hindi discuss ko lalo mamaya yung dosing, okay? So, we're talking about PIP or post-injection pain. Depende rin sa brand, okay? So, depende rin sa brand. And most of the brand na nagamit ko, talagang yung tolerance ko siguro sa pain from Winsroll is sobrang taas compared to like test propionate, which is sobrang sakit para sa akin. And for others naman is parang wala lang di sa kanila yan. So, sabi ko nga parang hiyangan din yung gears na ginagamit mo or yung pwede mong gamitin so you need to find the brands and the gears that really works for you na pwede mong gamitin effectively kasi kung every time na mag-i-inject ka is may post-injection pain paano ka makakapag uh, workout ng ayos paano mo ma-maximize yung workout mo and yung mood mo syempre affected din yan if you have a post-injection pain and if palagi kang uh, may soreness or inflammation sa shoulders mo sa glutes mo or sa legs mo paano ka makakapag-perform ng ayos and paano ka makakapag-prep ng tama, di ba? So, yung inflammation, nag-cause din yan ng too much water retention sa body mo, so, mahihirapan ka maging shredded. So, what's the point, di ba? So, ayun. Um, regarding the brands, ano ba daw dapat yung brand na gamitin? So, napakadaming brands, but I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, madami, sa daming brand na nagamit ko, ang uh, pinakamasakit lang talaga na brand is yung Meditech, Although nagamit yung Meditech before na talagang pain-free even up to batch 2018. Pero yung batch 2020 nila na lumabas with the Meditech mixes, I'll be honest with you, sobrang sakit. Huwag mo nang bilhin. So, ayaw ko naman sirain yung brand, but um, talagang sobrang sakit nun. 
So, ang dami ko ng colleagues and clients and friends na gumamit na talagang hindi nilang malamit. Hindi nila maubos kasi sobrang sakit talaga. So, ang naging option nila is so, sayang naman yung ano, yung gear na binili nila, nabawasan pero hindi nila maubos. And then, nag-switch na lang siya sa orals. So, regarding the dosing, okay, let's talk about the dosing. Start with the orals. So, yung orals dosing niya is, uh, effective dose is 40 to 50 milligrams every day. So, yun yung optimal dose. And then, for ejectables, um, 100 milligrams every other day. Okay? So, pwede mo rin siyang gamitin ng 50 milligrams every day, but every day, pinning, parang, um, hindi naman nakakatuwa yun, di ba? So, ayun. So, yun yung tamang dosing. For me, effective dose. And then, yung half-life, ang pinagkaiba nila, yung half-life ng orals, is only 8 to 9 hours. So, you have to split your dosing. For example, your dosing mo is uh, 40 milligrams per day. Um, you have to split it into two. So, like 20 milligrams morning, after 8 to 9 hours, take another 20 milligrams. So, parang ganon. And then, with injectables, mahaba yung half-life niya, which is 24 hours. That's why pwede mo siyang itake every other day. So, walang problema doon. So, it's up to you kung ano yung gagamitin mo or what works best for you. Okay? Or san, san ka mas convenient gamitin. Longer half-life pero masakit or shorter half-life pero walang sakit. Okay? Pero hindi ko naman sinasabi na lahat ng injectables is masakit. Especially, uh, sabi ko nga, it depends on person to person. Yung windstorm. And any other gears. Hiyangan talaga yan. So, ihabol ko lang about dosing ng oral windstroll. Kasi may nagkatanong sa akin before if kung pwede daw i-increase yung everyday dosing. Kasi sabi ko nga, di ba kanina, optimal dose is 50 mg every day kasi may kili lang yung half-life niya. Kung pwede ba daw i-increase up to 100 mg every day. So, pwede naman, more windstroll, but ibig sabihin nun, more toxic and more side effects din yung makukuha mo. Di ba? But... Yun nga, usually kasi ginagawa yun ng mga athletes or competitors na ini-increase nila to 100 mg every day like for the last 3 weeks ng prep mo para makahabol ka. Kapag nagahabol ka and hindi ka pa ganun ka-shredded tapos malapit na yung show, let's say 3 weeks out. Um, for me, hindi ko nakikita yung, ano eh, yung big difference ng 50 mg sa 100 mg every day ng winstrol um, in terms of uh, getting shredded. For me, if you were like 3 weeks out, 2 weeks out, dapat stage ready ka na yan eh, if magkukumpit ka. So, if hindi ka pa rin stage ready like 2 weeks out, huwag ka nang lumaro. Just to, to be honest ha, to be honest as a competitor also, as an athlete, if hindi ka pa ready 2 weeks out, huwag mo nang itaas yung dosage ng gamot mo kasi sayang lang and uh, mas prone ka pa, mas makukompromise pa yung health mo um, if hindi ka pa ready 2 weeks out. Kasi nasa diet yan eh. Nasa more on nutrition talaga yan. If you were like 3 weeks, 2 weeks out, ang um, pwede mo na lang gawin dyan is yung uh, matter, water manipulation or uh, depletion stage na yan eh. So, dapat talaga ready ka na. So, let's talk about the cycle length of Winstrol. Okay, Winstrol orals or injectables. So, kahit ano pang uh, form yung gamitin mo, don't exceed 8 weeks. So, cycle length ng Winstrol is just 6 weeks to 8 weeks. Usually, pang ano lang yun eh, pang finishing touches lang yun eh. Last 6 weeks ng cycle mo or last 8 weeks ng cycle mo. Just to get that um, crazy conditioning na talagang super shredded and muscle to skin na lang. Okay? So, dun lang ginagamit yung windstroll and don't exceed windstroll more than 12 weeks sa loob ng isang cycle. Kasi sobrang toxic yan sa joints mo. It will give you a lot of problem with your joints, with your wrists, your elbows shoulders, knees, nandiyan na yan. Okay? Kaya yung iba kapag nagsasagal sila ng winstrol, they are using glucosamine or sa, sa, sa mga sums naman, they are using ostarin. Okay? Kasi nakakatulong yon to combat those side effects for joint pains. Okay? And then, yung iba naman, gumagamit din sila ng cardarin to combat naman yung side effects ng winstrol na nakaka-affect ng cholesterol levels, okay? Tapos gumagamit din sila ng um, organ support like something like this, liver pro. So, this is good for the liver, for your heart, and for your kidney. So, organ support, napaka-importante. Kailangan talagang meron ka nito kapag nakasycle ka ng windstroll. 
Alright, so um, we're talking about the side effects. Sa gitna natin, so nandiyan na yung sabi ko nga, joint pains. Yan talaga yung most common na side effect ng windsor is yung uh, pananakit na mga buto or mga joints. And then liver toxicity. And then it can also increase the bad cholesterol in your body. And nandiyan na rin yung, for some cases, yung alopecia. Kasi nga, it's a DHT, it's androgenic in nature, and kaya kailangan mo ng testosterone. So, for me, so far, so good naman. At maraming windsor lang ako nagamit, to be honest, is okay naman yung buho ko, and hindi naman na affected. So, yun. So, no wonder ibang bodybuilders talaga na professional is kalbo na. So, yun. So, be careful on using this drug kasi... Um, sobrang common ito ay talagang sobrang popular ng windstall even in terms to cutting and shredding but sobrang toxic din niya. Okay? So ano pa ba? I think na-over ko naman lahat yung expected results from windstall, uh, post-injection pain, dosage, cycle length, side effects. I think na-over ko naman lahat. And if you have some questions, suggestions, if may nakalimutan ako, or may mali ako, please let me know. Tao lang. So, I think that's all for today. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Thanks for watching. God bless.